Number 54. From the equilibrium concentrations given, calculate Ka for each of the weak acids and Kb for each of the weak bases. And then we have letter B out of the bunch. So in this case, we're going to start off with HNO2. They told us that we have a H3O plus concentration of 0.011 molarity. We got a nitrite ion concentration of 0.0438 molarity. And then HNO2 concentration of 1.07 molarity. So the first thing is we got to figure out, well, are we a weak acid or a weak base? And this comes from what you make in the solution. If you make hydronium, you're an acid. If you make hydroxide, you're a base. In this case, we make H3O+. And H3O+, which is the same as H+, that's hydronium. So we are an acid. And I can kind of know that this is an acid, HNO2. I do see that acidic hydrogen in the front. So generally, this is going to be an acid. You might actually be able to figure out the name of this right? Because nitrite, when it becomes an acid, turns into nitrous acid. So it has acid in the name, so it's an acid. Let's write out the balanced equation. Keep in mind that acids or bases are always in water. So when you want to write a balanced equation, you should always add whatever you're starting with plus H2O. So we have HNO2 plus H2O and since this is a weak acid, it's not one of my six strong acids. I'm going to use my uh, equilibrium signs here. And then remember, the acid always drops a hydrogen. So that's why you have a nitrite ion concentration. And then the H2O will add a hydrogen. So the two becomes a three. And that's why you make hydronium. Let's just maybe make this a little bit symmetrical. And now let's write down what our equilibrium concentrations are. H3O plus was 0.011 molarity. Nitrite was 0.0438 molarity. And then the nitric acid was 1.07 molarity. Now you might be saying, well, what about the water? Well, remember, water is the solvent. It's a liquid. And any K value whether it's Ka or Kb, um, no liquids are allowed. No solids are allowed and no liquids. So this goes bye-bye. But we have to put this here so that we can make it a balanced equation. But for our equation, we don't care about it. And just like any K value, right, we did a lot of K work uh, last chapter. It's always products divided by reactants, right, raised to the coefficients. But here it's a one to one to one to one. So for acids and bases, we don't really care about the coefficients. So let's see, Ka equals something divided by something else. Products divided by reactants, I got two products. And remember in the Ka equation, they are multiplied by each other. And then you have the one down here. So products divided by reactants, it would be NO2 minus times the hydronium H3O plus divided by HNO2. Let's now plug in the actual numbers. So we'll do the three set up, the two on the top, the one on the bottom. So NO2 was 0 0.0438. Hydronium was 0 0.011. And then nitric acid was 1.07. Let's plug that into the calculator, and then we get our answer. Let's see. So 0 0.0438 times 0 0.011 divided by 1.07. And looks like three, uh, actually two sig figs for hydronium. So we'll give two sig figs back. 4.5. 4 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. No units for any k value. Uh, if it's an equilibrium constant, no units. Ks are unit less. They have no units. But since this is a really, really low number, remember, any K value less than 1, that means at equilibrium, you have majority of your reactants. And that's why this number is so high as opposed to these two values. And that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in to the video. 
I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your classmates about this channel. Would love to help them out as well. We also got physics and math videos also on the channel. So go check those out. I'll talk to you all later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.